In this short video, we're going to look how we can use our factoring techniques for expressions that may look like polynomials, but may not be polynomials. So let's take a look. Here we have an expression. It has three terms, so it kind of looks like a trinomial, but these are not powers of x. Uh, and so it's not a polynomial. We have fractional powers here. But we can look at it as if it were a polynomial because x to the two-thirds power is the same as x to the one-third power squared. Remember the properties of exponents that if you have a power raised to an exponent, you can multiply the exponents. So one-third times two would give me two-thirds. And then minus x to the one-third minus six. So this looks like a uh, simple trinomial. And so I would have two sets of parentheses. It'll be a product of two binomials, which comes from a FOIL type operation. And I'd be looking for two numbers, which multiply to make negative 6 and add to make negative 1. Remember, the minus sign in front of parentheses is the same as having minus 1 times that term. And the two numbers that I'm looking for then would be negative 3 and positive 2. So I can factor this expression as x to the one-third minus 3 times x to the one-third plus 2. In my second example, I actually do have a polynomial, but I really don't want to multiply out the 2y squared plus 1 squared and then uh, multiply out the minus 8 times 2y squared plus 1 and then go through and collect all the terms and then try to factor it. I don't have to do that. Instead, what I'm going to do is a very important technique that's used throughout mathematics and certainly a lot through in calculus is what we call a change of variables or more generally just a U substitution. We call it a U substitution because we're going to introduce a new variable U and that variable u is going to take the place of 2y squared plus 1. So if I put any place I see a 2y squared plus 1, I put a u, then I'll get a much simpler uh, polynomial to factor. I'll have u squared minus 8u plus 12. This is just one of our simple trinomials, and so I would need two numbers whose product is positive 12 and whose sum is negative 8. Those two numbers would be what? Negative 6 and negative 2. And so now I've got the u polynomial factored, but I want to always go back to the original variable, right? So I'm going to replace u now with 2y squared plus 1. And I can see that I have like terms, so I will go ahead and simplify that. And so this is much simpler than multiplying this out and then trying to factor it. Here we have something that the coefficients at least are perfect squares, but uh, it's certainly not um, the difference of two squares of powers, but it is the difference of two squares if we remember that uh, m raised to the power of 12 over 5 is the same as taking m raised to the power of 6 over 5 and squaring it, right? 6 over 5 times 2 would give me 12 over 5. And the same thing over here. 4 over 3 times 2 gives me 8 over 3. So I can factor the first term as 5m raised to the power of 6 fifths all squared. And then the second term is 7n to the 4 thirds power, all squared. So now I have the difference of two squares, and I can factor this as the product of conjugates. All right, so here we've got a new wrinkle. We actually have uh, radicals, 
and that can uh, really throw us for a loop. But it helps if we start out, so we don't have a polynomial, but if I start out by rewriting it in terms of fractional exponents, that's going to help me. And then the next step would be to remember that y to the one-half power is the same as taking y to the one-fourth power and squaring it. Because one-fourth times two would be two-fourths. Two-fourths is the same as one-half. And so now I'll go ahead and make a u substitution. I don't really necessarily have to make a u substitution. I could work with it with the y to the one-fourth, but it just makes it simpler to write out if I replace y to the one-fourth with the new variable u. So I'll have 6u squared minus 5u minus 6. I could use trial and error, but I'm going to go ahead and use grouping. I'm going to rewrite this as four terms. I have 6 times negative 6, so I need two numbers, which multiply to make negative 36, add to make negative 5. And uh, those numbers would be, what, negative uh, 9 and positive 4. So I rewrite the minus 5u, or negative 5u, as negative 9u and positive 4u. I'll group them, the first two together, the second two together. Common factor in the first two is 3u. Common factor in the second two is 2. So one binomial is 2 minus 3. The other one will be 3u plus 2. But I don't leave it in terms of u. I'm not done yet. I'm going to go back and write it in terms of the original variable y. I don't have to change the y to the 1 fourth back to the fourth root unless I want to. So in summary, we can make a u substitution uh, to make a change of variables and take something that is either a very complicated polynomial or something that's not a polynomial at all, make it look like a polynomial, and still be able to factor it.